Hello everyone, welcome to match two of the FFT Arena Single Class Challenge AI Tournament Season 5. Alright, next up we have, uh, let me just take a look who are the competitors. We got Rex versus RG. Rex is rocking a team of Geomancers and RG is rocking a team of Lancers. So for Rex we got Byako, Suzaku, Seryu, and Genbu. All right, so let me take a sip of my water. So we got an attack up uh, spell blade geomancer, Lyhar Paladin Shield Alpine Hood. All right, this geomancer, if I remember correctly, is just all uh, Mystic Knight. We got Amp Raise, Amp Cure, Amp Ice Drain Strike, and Osmo Strike. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. All right. So, with the 16 PA and attack up, um, he should make some decent use out of his spell blaze for sure. Especially with the Alpine Hood. Summon Magic Geomancer. Decently fast, thanks to the Thief Hat. And some Rock and some Elemental Resist, thanks to the White Robe. Uh, this Geomancer is Rock and just Summon Magic from the looks of it. We got... Mughal, Shiva, Ramu, Ifrit, Fairy, Kabunko, Sylph, and Odin. So just a summon bot. Then we have your traditional draw bot. Uh, with magic attack up, draw up, Meepon slash, move MP up. Alright, so this Geomancer's Rock and Kitetsu, Bees and Boat, Murasami, Kiramori. So she can occasionally if uh, choose to inflict status, maybe. Um, if, if that's what Rex wants to go for, but we shall see how well that will work. And then, of course, we got the luck up um, Geomance, uh, Geomancy right here. Luck up Geomancer. Uh, Master Geomancy, as you, as you would expect. And then we got Cure, Cure 2, Cure 4, Raise, Raise 2, Wall of Suna. So, pretty well mixed stats, I think. Everyone being at 9 speed, that's actually, that's actually interesting to note. Everyone on Rex's team all has 9 speed, so the Geomancers are not really that slow. Hopefully that uh, hopefully that 9 speed across the board will kick in for him. He, he might need it against uh, Argy's team, which comprises of Paladin, Monk, Chemist, and Time Mage. <clears throat> So, um, this Lancer right here with Overwhelm and Jump and Chivalry. We got um, Max Range and, max and Vertical Ignore Jump, pretty much. And then we got, from the Paladin skill set, Land Hands, Nurse, Iron Will, Revase, South and Cross. Let's see, uh, seven jump. That's basically that is pr that is pretty much um, the maximum amount of jump you can get. Um, Sixteen PA overwhelm is still pretty good. Five movement isn't too bad either. Um, you know, three hundred forty-four HP is pretty good. You know, for a guy that's going to inflict a lot of damage in return. Um, You just see a paladin. Ha <laughs> ha! I see. You want me to see what they are? You see what they really are on the inside. <laughs> uh, we got concentrate. We got a concentrate punch art lancer with the holy lance. This could be pretty interesting. With the black robe, so that will boost the damage done with the holy lance. Jump range four and jump vertical five. Uh, chi blast, sigma magic chakra revive. So, all right, fair enough. Warpath. So he'll, he'll hit even harder with it. 16 PA is still pretty dang good, actually, uh, for this Lancer for sure. We got the Luck Up Heavy Spear Lancer. Uh, Heavy Spear, of course, inflicts, um, let's see, Shell Bust Stab, uh, which only occurs once. It only, it only breaks the armor slot once, in addition to the damage. After that, it's just, it just doesn't do anything afterwards, because the opponent is not wearing any type of body armor. 
Uh, but once but once it occurs, though, it can be effectively devastating because the, the debilitation behind it is actually pretty big, reducing someone's max HP. Um, your typical item bot, as you can see here, uh, nothing too uh, nothing too special about them, but at the same time, the highest amount of health, good evasion all around, and plenty of status immunity. I think this guy's going to do his job pretty well. <clears throat> and then, of course, you got a uh, Time Magic Lancer. 10 speed, on, 10 speed on, for her as well. Jump range 3, jump vertical 3, and then Time Magic, we got haste 2, stop, sinkhole, and return. So she inflicts statuses, disrupts spells, gets rid of some nasty statuses, and helps um, buff the party with haste too. All right, that seems to be RG's uh, plan here. How well is it gonna go? Uh, not sure. We are going to find out. We are now heading off to map 79, Yugo Woods. Best of luck to the two of you. Ooh, that jump. Ooh, that nearly killed that Geomancer. 370 damage. Ouch. See, no, don't move, proc. That Geomancer has to, has to go way further back right now. The Geomancer does not get killed. She is going to get a cure 4. She does have Meat Bone Slash, though. That could occur if the Lancers get too close to her, but we'll find out. Stop Lance. Let's see, Drain Strike. The Geomancer really needed that health back. Well, one of Rex's Geos, I should say. And she gets KO'd. Another jump. Ooh, sinkhole to cancel the raise. Combine that with the jump for added damage. Drain strike for the kill. But I think RG is in a pretty good spot at the moment. Yo, sinkhole. Basically making Rex's life a pain, you know, a pain in the ass. Oh, Raze 2 misses. That's going to be the deciding factor right now. That Raze 2 missing. <clears throat> Poke by the sinkhole for the kill. Let's see, a fairy. Will a fairy go off? Not sure. Chi Blast kills one of the other Geos, and Rex is in major, major trouble right now. Oh, the Geomancer blocks his own Prism Swarm healing. That's really unfortunate. See, Faith on Seriu, the Geomancer. Uh, she's gonna go for Blessed Rain. Haste you on, on everyone. Yeah, with the, with the amount of uh, RG's team just having high HP in general, is really, really difficult for Rex to score any significant KOs. And two stops landed, and yeah, this is round one. This is RG's all the way here. 
Ouch. <laughs> That's it for round one. Okay, so, uh, let's see, where are we going from round two? Alright, I know where we're going. We are going to map 106 Delta. <laughs> Not trash. No, Andrew, you got a, you got it wrong. You're supposed to say, it's, but it was me, Dio. <laughs> Yeah, Rex missing that la raise too, honestly. I don't know if that would have, um. <laughs> I don't know if, um. If Rex wouldn't have been able to at least keep up with RG had he landed the raise too, considering how hard these Lancers hit. But that certainly sped up the process of, um, RG just, uh, closing out round one in very, conv in rather convincing fashion. There's an instant cure for. Cure more? That would be a good idea, actually, because now that Lancer is not going to be able to hit as effectively. That Geomancers don't move, and combine that with the jump, making extra sure she won't move out of the way. Low amp cure. 168 uh, prism swarm is pretty good, but that Lancer is so bulky, he can just tank those just fine. Ah, uh, and heal, getting rid of Kiramori. Or Serpent Hex, is, uh, as the game will call it now. Southern Cross gets blocked. Right, again, Boo's gonna go for a raise to 85%. Those odds should connect. And it does, but she's still inflicted with don't move. Is the amp ice heal? Fair enough. So the Lancer is not quite dead yet. He does have damage split though. Wake, no petrified. Rex would have really loved to have a petrified proc go off right now. Especially on especially on this map. Oh no, you think of the Holy Lance. The Holy Lance inflicts um Dia. Oh wait, hold on a second. Um the shell bus step one? That's actually a good question. Let's actually take a quick moment here. Uh, hold on. Are you, are you talking about, uh, this guy right here? Because that's the Lancer, right here with the Holy Lance. This is the, uh, 67% cast Dia. Oh, what are you thinking of this guy right here? I mean, um... I'll keep a better, I'll keep a better eye out, but I'm... Pretty sure that they are working the way they're intended to work, but we'll all keep, we'll all, but we'll all keep a better eye out in this case. Stop. See, Osmo Strike. That's interesting. Stop misses. Okay, 
Lancer goes down. Alright, Rex is in somewhat of a more comfortable position at the moment. But RG is still in this fight. He can still turn it around at a moment's notice. Alright, Zantex Shooting goes off. Double block. Let's see, the GM is looking for more amp cure. But he's getting targeted in the process. Alright, so Rex is kind of in this actually right now. Ooh, the block up uh, Flame Saber. Inflicting good damage. And RG is currently in, in sandbag mode right now. Odin does, Odin does kill one of the Lancers. Stop misses. Well, that Lancer is like basically out of uh, mana, all out of mana and very low on MP. There's Dia, but no faith, but no faith proc. Let's see, another stop attempt. <coughs> Let's see, snags two Geos. Drain Strike does not quite kill the female Lance. She is actually rather bulky herself. Let's see the Lance will be able to jump out of the way. Now she's gonna do don't. Oh, Drain Strike misses because of the. Uh... And there's a targeting issue right there. That was actually really weird. Stop misses. Okay, so RG, um, I think. Mm. Oh, you were asking about uh, is the Lancer able to attack diagonally? Yeah, because the Lancer has a javelin, and javelins are for range. It's meant to be like a throwing weapon, is what they were going for. That Geomancer, though, all out of MP. Question is, can Rex seal this? Can Rex uh, take this round two while he has a chance? Stop. Blocks. Okay. Osmo Strike, making sure that uh, her um, spellcasting shenanigans are going to be cut short. Alright, this girl goes down, and the chemist, is, the chemist Lancer, the item bot one, is all that's left. And we're going to be going to her round three pretty soon. All right, excellent. Rex takes round two. As we're now headed towards round three. All right, so round three is going to be taking place at map 96, the town pub. Pup fight! With this being a smaller map, RG should be able to 
um, open up early and just catch and just catch Rex um, mid charge with the jumps. I mean, we'll see though. We shall definitely see. Oops, gonna refresh the stream here for a second. Southern Cross. See, a lot of damage is coming from Amp Ice right there. Oh, the, the double kill of, of uh, Odin. Wait a second here. That Geo's in critical, though. Down she goes. Tetsu. Oh, double kill. Hold on. If the draw of Geomancer can just simply just continue to lay on the pressure, maybe, maybe Rex can still take this. We'll have to find out, though. Quick Chakra. Rex is on the back foot, though. Stop Lance. This is going to bite him in the ass right now. Double kill off the Prism Swarm. Lay on hands. And a Phoenix down. Only one kill off of that though, and damage split too. Now what's this Geomancer gonna do here? This is winnable for Rex, possibly. Stop might be wearing off very soon. We'll have to wait and see. The male Geomancer's back up. Ace 2. RG is still in the middle of healing up right now, though. Stop does finally wear off. See Spellblade coming up. Will he be able to get this off? He might. See Kamatachi. Time Age will go for... Oh! Not quite dead. Oh, okay, that Lancer's down. The male Geomancer was able to survive just long enough for the heal. Then it's sort of a little hurt in heal action. Oh, a block! I think Rex might have this in the bag here. See, Kamatachi, I think, yeah, this is going to be it for sure. The Katetsu. <clears throat> yeah, I, I apologize if the stream is like l lagging a little bit. I can always um, restart if everyone's experiencing lag in some way. <laughs> See, Prism Swarm. That Lance is almost dead, but I think this is going to be it uh, really, really soon. Gonna pause the music here for two seconds because um, this match is just about over. One of the lances crystallized, and I think this is GG. Made me a quick restart. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna. Um, all right. So before I get to that, GG, both of you. Good job, Rex. You will be moving on. RG, you're gonna be heading down to the losers bracket.